Welcome to Make Easy. In this video, I will explain you QBasic number pattern printing. These all number patterns will print step by step easily. And I will give you the formula to print any number pattern very easily without using the dual loop. If you want to understand each program easily, just you can watch my previous videos. I have already made the video on this type of pattern. So in this video, in one single video, I'll explain you and I will give you the simplest formula to print the pattern, any type of pattern. So we'll discuss about these all programs one by one today. Okay. So let's start with the first one. One, two, three, four, five. This is the number pattern. Please watch till the end and I'm 100% sure that you will get it clearly and you will be able to solve the pattern printing program in QBSC. Okay, let's start. First of all, we'll write the CLS and then I will write B equals to one. This is the first step. CLS will clear the data of the output screen and B equals to one. You can use variable A, B, C, D, your choice, but I'm using here B equals to one. Keep the first value of the output. Like we need to print one, two, three, four, five. So I'm keeping B equals to one because this is the first value. Okay. Then after this, we need to use loop. So for I, or we can a, say A, A equals to one, two, five. Why I am writing A equals to one to five? Just listen very carefully. Count it how many times the value is printed in the output screen. Count it one, two, three, four, five. Five values are printed, or you can say five times value is printed in the output screen. So I am writing here A equals to one to five. So this for loop will execute five times. If you don't know how for loop work, you can watch my another video. I explain the dry run of the program with different programs also. So you can watch that. Okay. Inside the loop, <coughs> we should print B. And then I will give semicolon. Semicolon will give little bit of space after printing the value. So print B. Print B means B will be printed. So first value is printed in the output screen. Now after printing, what we want to do? After printing, I want to print the next value that is 2. So by using 1, b equals to 1, how to get 2? So I can just write b equals to b plus 1. Value of b is 1. So 1 plus 1 will be 2. Next time, 2, value of b will be 2. So 2 plus 1 will be 3. Then 3 plus 1 will be 4. So what I'm writing here is b equals to b plus 1. Then next i and then end. The simple so you got the point first of all b equals to one starting value whatever will be in the output screen the first value printed you can just write it down b equals to one then how many times value is printed in the output screen count it one two three four five so i can use for i equals to one to five that's it then print b this is the same then important here b equals to b plus one first time b value is one so b plus one will be 2 so 2 will be stored in b next time 2 plus 1 will be 3 so in this way it works i'm again saying if you don't know how for loop work just watch my previous video so not next i next a because we are using a in for loop hope it is clear i will just copy this now and i will paste it here for this program now i will write your question mark first question mark because basic structure for printing any program is same. This is the basic structure. Now we need to make changes here only. First is here, second is in the for loop, and third is the formula. And this is the basic structure to print a number pattern. You can solve any number pattern using this basic structure. Okay, let's do it. First of all, first value printed in the output screen is one. So first formula is keep it here same value the first value in the output screen whatever it is printed one fine next time you can see five so first value is one and how many times we want to print up to tenth term okay in the for loop we need to check how many times it is printed it is written here tenth term tenth term means ten time so one to ten simple one to ten means ten time it will be printed the last is question mark is left that is after printing one, we need to print five. So 
what will be the formula? So in this one, we can add four to get five. Okay, in this five, we can add again four to get nine. Okay, that is the formula. So B equals to B plus four, and it will give the correct result. This is done. Okay, hope it is clear. Let me show you by running this program in QBasic. Uh, okay, you can copy the program and you can paste it. This is QB64, so it will be easy for you to run the program and test it. Okay, one, two, three, four, five is printed. That's great. Let's run this also. Okay, here is QBasic and let's run it. So I will show you the output of each program. So don't worry, it will be clear for you. Yeah, one, five, nine, thirteen. Yeah, it is absolutely correct. It is printed ten times. You can count it. Okay, let's go to the next one. Next one is two, three, five, eight, twelve, seventeen up to tenth term. Okay, basic structure is same. I have copied the same thing. Just the first b equals two will be the first value of the output screen. That is two. So I'll keep here two. Now good. Next one. How many times it is printed in the output screen up to 10th term? So A equals to 1 to 10. Simple. First time 2 is printed. Okay. The next time 3 is printed. Next time 5 is printed. Okay. Just you can see 2. First value is 2. It will be printed fine. By adding 1 to this 2, we'll get next value that is 3. By adding 2 to this 3, we'll get 5. So every time we need to add one, two, three, four, five, like that. So what we can do is we can write here b equals to b plus i, b plus a, because value of a will be one first time. So b plus a, b plus one will be three. Next time three plus two, i value will be two. So five, so it will go like this way. Okay, this is done. Next one again, we have first value three. So we, I will keep here three. Now, next formula for the for loop is how many times it is printed. So you can see it is printed 10 times. So I can write here 1, 2, 10. That is also fine. First time 3 is printed, but I want to get 12 next time. Okay. So what I can do is I can use the formula like I, sorry, A. A value is 1 first time. So A plus 1. So first time a value will be 1, a plus 1 will be 2, exponential 2, that means 2 power 2, that will be 4, 4 into 3. So I can write in this way, look, I will keep this in bracket, first of all. Okay, I will keep this in bracket. a plus 1, 1, first of all a value will be 1, then a plus 1 will be 2, 2 to the power of 2 is 4, 4 into 3 is 12. Okay, 12 is here. Next time, 12 plus 1. Okay, next time, a value will be 2. 2 into 1 is 3. 3 to the power of 2. 3 is a 9. 9 into 3 is 27. Yes, great. This is the correct result. So, in this way, we can do the program. So, let's execute this in the QBasic. Let me copy paste it here. And let me run. We'll test every program. Okay, 2, 3, 5, 8, 12, 17, up to 10th term. It is printed 27. So let's do it. Okay, run the program. P1227. P1227. P1227, 4875, 10th term. Correct. So just you need to play with the logic for 2 3 minutes and you will get this formula. And in another way, also, you can do the same program. Okay, so this is also done. Now let's go to the next one. Hope you are understanding and you are enjoying my video. So click on the like button. If you understand this concept, click on the subscribe button and share with your friends. There is more interesting next pattern printing program. We'll discuss about that also. Okay, next. First 10 even numbers. So first 10 even numbers. First even number is what? It's zero. Zero is also even number. The number which is divisible by two is even number so 0 is also completely divisible by 2 so first is 0 it is not mentioned here 0 but we know first even number is 0 so I am keeping here 0 then loop will execute how many times 
first 10 even numbers so 10 times 1 2 10 that's it then first number is 0 and second even number is 2 so how to get that 0 plus 2 every time we'll increment 2 2 no, 0 plus 2 is 2 2 plus 2 is 4 4 plus 2 is 6 so it will give the correct result just try it okay next first 15 even number so first even number is what one even number start from one first 15 that means we need to execute for the 15 times 1 to 15 next question mark is first even number is one then second even number is three so one plus two will be three so equals to b plus two done so let's execute this first 10 even number program first and then first 15 even number okay i'll run this program okay now you can count all even numbers are here and 10 even numbers are here done so for the next one we have started with one and let me run this program also for first 15 odd numbers so you can see we got all odd numbers first 15 you can count it done this is also completed now let's go to the next one and just comment below if this is helpful to you and if you're understanding and if there is another way to solve the pattern printing program so you can just do that and just comment below with the solution with the pattern also okay so next is okay three 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 and three okay first pattern printed here is five times three so we'll keep that same one two three four five whatever is printed in the output screen first value we'll keep that here that is the formula right then next time how many times it is printed you can count one two three four five five values are printed or you can say five lines are printed or you can say five times it is printed so i can keep here one two five simple first time b will be printed that means this will be printed after printing this i want only four times three first time five times three second time four time only and after that three time only so what we are observing here is we are observing that the last digit is removed every time look last digit is removed from here last digit is again removed so we have only three digits last digit is again removed only two digits last digit is already removed so only one digit so how to remove the last digit of the given number so we need to work for that and you know the formula that is b integer division 10 b equals to b integer division 10 b integer division 10 will remove the last digit of the given number any number integer division 10 will remove the last digit of the given number so first time five times three so b equals to b integer division 10 that means last digit will be removed so in the b only four digits will be stored so in this way it works so let's run this program as well and let's test it whether it is correct or not so this is the symbol of integer division slash this one slash okay let's see okay three 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 but we want to print line by line so to change the line i will just remove that semicolon from here so it will be printed in the next line every time let's run the program yes this is the correct result okay so for printing the pattern in this way i need to remove semicolon from here that's good next okay one two three four five one two three four one two three one two one same here we are removing last digit every time four is removed three is removed two is removed so only one is left so same way the first value we have in the output screen is one two three four five and this is the formula we have to keep this same here i kept that how many times it is printed one two three four five times so i equals to or a equals to one two five same the next formula removing the last digit that means we integer division 10 simple done so to print in the next line we can remove that semicolon so let's run the program the change is only one thing that is one two three four five value is changed everything is same just by looking at the output you can see you can do the program so every time we remove last digit okay next so six five four three two one six five four three two again we are removing the last digit 
one is removed from here two is removed from here three is also removed four is also five and six is only left so what we can do is we can give six five four three two one here how many times it is printed count it one two three four five six yeah don't do mistake just count it clearly six time it is printed the next again removing the last digit that means p integer division 10 and remove this semicolon to print in the next time you can just copy and paste it and test it just do it by yourself that is also clear now next one okay now we have one next time one 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 we are adding one 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 again in every step the first simple formula is keep the first value here one is here so i'm keeping one loop will execute how many times count it one two three four five times so one two five okay every time next time first value is one next time i want 11. how to get 11 by using this one so formula is b into 10 plus one b is one first value is one one into 10 is 10 10 plus one is 11. so 11 next time 11 b value is 11 11 into 10 is 1110 1110 plus 1 is 111 so we are getting this so you can run the program and test it again so just remove this semicolon to print in the next line so copy paste and run it it will give you the correct result again you can see here in the output screen 1111111111 done okay this is also done so let's go to the next one 112 1234123455 <clears throat> okay before doing this i want to show you <coughs> two 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 like that so for that what you need to make you need to write here <coughs> two and just change it make it two so the two 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 will be printed five times so you need to make changes in value only everything will be same good done okay now let's do this program many of <coughs> youtubers do the this program using dual loop but i will explain you using single loop so let me show you first of all one initial value same formula one two three four five times it is printed so y equals to one to five just look at it five times it is printed so one to five first of all b will be printed that is one will be printed next time i want 12 how i can get that so to get 12 by using 1, I can write here b into 10 plus a plus 1. Right? So let's try b 1, 1 into 10 is 10, 10 plus a is a value will be 1, 11, 11 plus 1 will be 12. So we are getting 12. Next time b value will be 12. So 12 into 10, 120, 120 plus a value will be 2, 122. 122 plus 1 will be 123. So I'm getting that. So in the same way it works. So I just remove it and it is done. So let's run this program again. The formula is looking a little bit long, but it is simple. You can do that. So 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is also completed. So this can be done in different way. Like I can keep here 2 and up to 6. And I can write here A only not plus one so it will print the same result but i have shown you by using the same pattern yes so you can do that in this way nothing will be changed this is the first value will be changed that will be the same as this one next one is how many times just count it one to five or one to ten or like that you can just write then you have to deal with this formula three things you need to work on and you can print any pattern printing program and if you have any confusion just comment it below I will explain you in the next video and if you have any number pattern which is difficult for you to understand just you can comment it i'll make the video on that hope you enjoy this video click on the like button click on the subscribe button and share with your friends it may help others for pattern printing have a great day and see you in the next video bye bye